Jeff Keenan here. I want to do a quick video about charging your Tesla with a 110 volt plug in cold weather. So can you charge your Tesla in cold weather using the mobile connector with just a 110 volt plug? Yeah, you can. I just picked up this 22 Model 3 Performance and I've been charging just on 110. I don't have the ability uh, to put a 240 in my garage or charging area. So I've been charging on 110. Uh, there's a couple of things you need to do. So if you need to use an extension cord, make sure to get a 12 gauge cord. You don't want to use uh, just a, you know, a cheap 16 gauge extension cord. It's going to have problems. And also make sure to plug directly into the outlet. Don't plug into any power strips. Just take that 12 gauge cord, plug it into a, an outlet um, and plug the mobile connector into that. Um, you shouldn't have any problem. I'm charging at 12 amps. Uh, and there's a couple of things that you have to do though um, if you want to optimize your charging in cold weather. So you always want to charge when the battery is warm. Uh, you know, the battery is not going to charge until it's been preconditioned. So that's going to either take some power out of the pack or it's going to, when it's plugged in, it's going to use uh, the 110 volt to try to warm that battery pack. Now, it's been charging in under 30 degree weather for a few days. And what you want to do is make sure that pack's warm. So after you drive, plug in right away so that you're not going to have to warm that pack using that power. Now, uh, if it's charging like in the middle of the night, you may see the charge level go to zero because it's got to rewarm that pack. It runs the motors, uh, it stalls the electric motors to generate uh, heat in that battery pack. And while it's doing that, it can't charge. So if you see it go to zero, that's okay. But again, try to charge when the pack's already warm from driving. You don't want to let the pack cool down to below freezing and then decide that you want to charge it. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, not having any problems, uh, you should probably be able to add about 40, maybe 50 miles a night just through a uh, 110 volt uh, charge. I picked up this uh, mobile charger organizer. organizer. It's pretty nice. Uh, comes with two pieces. Uh, this one you can wrap your, your uh, cable and, and put the and then connector. This piece um, holds the the mobile charger uh, unit so you can mount it on the wall and it's not like sitting on the floor or something like that. I'll put a link to this uh, in the description. Here's a 12 gauge extension cord. I'll put a link to this in the description also. This one's working great. I think it was for like some farm equipment use. Um, or heaters or things like that so th this this one works great it's a little expensive but definitely uh go for it because it's working great so can you charge on 110 volts in cold weather yeah just uh again keep in mind that you want to keep charging that packs already warm if possible and it may take a while uh to, to charge it uh you know you're going to do about four miles an hour if you see it go to zero um don't worry about it uh it's just warming that battery pack up and it's going to start charging soon um so again, remember to like and subscribe for more help with Wi-Fi and tech products in Tesla.